Hey guys, what's going on? This is Otis here, and this is a series that I would like to start um, doing well, once a week. If, if you guys enjoy it, I'll definitely uh, do it a lot more. But basically, what, it, what I'm going to be talking about is just how to troll your friends, whether it be on Facebook, whether it be on school or work, and it's just stuff that I've done, stuff that a friend's done, and what's worked for me and my other buddies, at least. And so, the first thing that I, I would suggest that I've done before, which uh, I've done it twice before, and every so often you'll you'll get some new people just start arguing. But basically, go for your feed or whatever your post whatever, whatever you want to call it and you say you know, I'm changing political sides and and pretty much what you do after that you just go to the microwave you make some popcorn by the time you come back to the computer what's going to end up happening is is pretty much whoever has read that they're going to assume that you're switching to their side and it's just psychologically that's how a lot of people think when when you just say you know I'm switching sides all of a sudden you psychologically think that oh you know they're coming to my side you know it doesn't matter what it is whether it be Democrat Republican whatever and so what ends up happening is then you'll have you'll have your friends starting to fight say hey no they're coming to my side you're coming to their side you don't even have to say what political side you're on and all you you'll see for the next probably like 15 20 minutes just people arguing back and forth you'll have this uh you know what what party is better than the other one and it's it's pretty freaking funny and you know you can reveal it towards you know a after everyone's you know done hating on each other and just going all crazy but it's it's a fun thing that I would highly suggest doing and you can word it, word it however you want and it's it's something that I would like, like, I, like I said a second ago it's it's really funny it's just fun to screw around with people especially with the elections and everything coming up even if you're not old enough to vote it was, as long as you say something like that people will be like oh they're on my side and you know it's just you're just trolling everyone and it's it's a pretty fun thing to do um, my next thing would be people at work who even do this at school like um, what you do is is you pretty much you walk over to someone you say hey I have a question for you. you go you start talking to them and basically what you do is is you fart like in their office cubicle or their office uh, in, in their office itself and basically you just sit there and you start talking to them for as long as you can and eventually you know they might say something they might not but basically what it is you just want to fart in their office and then you either want to distract them so they have to stay in there and smell it or you can fart and then leave and then pretty much what's going to happen is they're going to have to leave their office stop doing their work and it's just a it's just a fun little thing just to screw around with and, and we do that at work sometimes too so like when we're loading the trucks and stuff you'll go and you walk into someone's truck you'll start talking to them then you fart and you just stand you stand in the back door of the truck so they can't get out and it's just a it's a fun little thing that we we, we do sometimes and my uh, my my last thing for today that I definitely have to um, suggest you doing if if possible, and you can do this to a stranger, you can do this to your friend, but basically what you do is you, you get a candy bar, usually some Hers Hershey's kind with with peanuts will will typically be the best um, bar you want. But basically what you do is you put the whole candy bar with it in in the wrapper in your pocket, and you you keep it in your pocket for a while. And when your friend needs to go take a shit, basically what you do is you let them go in there, you let them start going, and basically what happens is you go in the next stall and then you take your candy bar out and it's so it's all melted and everything and you, you unwrap it and you put it all over your hand like you pretty much shit on your hand and you basically stick your hand underneath the stall and you say hey buddy can you help me out I'm out of toilet paper and you will just get the most hilarious reactions and um, basically Oh, I learned how to do that one is uh, one of my, my, my girlfriend's uncle is a stockbroker and basically what they do all the time is they just do pranks, they do hilarious things like that and that's that's a common one that they, that they used to do. I don't know if they do that much and so the only thing you have to do is you know just wash some, wash some chocolate off your hand but it the reactions you'll get yeah you, people will freak out and just go what the fuck you know get the fuck away from me and it's 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 pretty funny it's pretty hilarious um, that would be my my uh, I don't know, prank of the week on your friends or even a stranger too. And it's just, you will just start cracking up and dying, especially when they find out it's a joke. They'll just be like, oh man, like what the fuck? But it's it's definitely a fun thing that I would definitely try with your your, your friends, of course, first too. But um, hopefully you guys like this. Like I, I got a ton of more that I can do. Um, hopefully, uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys liked it and enjoyed it. I'll definitely have some more. Um, I absolutely love Tank Destroyer on Battlefield 3, or not Tank Destroyer, Tank Superiority, 
But um, one thing that I would definitely highly suggest is for a tip is having two people in each tank destroyer and then the one tank that you have. And basically what you want is just designate someone to repair the tank destroyer or the tank the whole entire time. And typically you'll win um, almost all the time. And another thing you'll want to do is you'll want to capture that flag right away. If you capture that flag right away, you pretty much can set yourself up to win pretty much almost all the time. So that, that's my other tips right there. You know, obviously keep moving. You know, use your reactive armor properly if you're using that. But ho hopefully you guys like this and enjoyed this. And uh, thanks for watching.